Mike. Mike. Thank you, Mike, for sticking around, buddy. Took me a little while. I put in a little Madden editing. Mike, thank you for subscribing as well, my man. 16 months, okay. 16 total months. Baloney Tony, what up? Banana Grubs, post mortem. What's Surprise, happening? Bitches. Void, Void Naritsu. Hey, man. Fuck, when, I, when can I change my name? Should I, should I start change my name? Bitman, what's up? Yo, plowing that starfield. I'm gonna try. Let's do a little. Let's put some hours in, bros. C trigger, love you, AJ. Fuck the haters. I, do I have haters? I mean, everybody popular has haters, right? <laughs> I don't really hear from him a lot. Tony Patrick, favorite YouTuber. Thank you. Gremlins 84. How's the game so far? Man, I only put in an hour. Oh, look, two hours and 44 minutes. I guess I put in longer than an hour. Um, I don't know, man. I'm disappointed in some aspects. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, but, and I, I don't think I put enough time into it. Um, I guess I'm a little shocked uh, at how how i mean i guess i wasn't expecting a revolution but this is basically i don't know i'd like to keep playing and see where i'm at but i'm definitely disappointed with uh how restrictive i'm i'm feeling i guess i didn't read a lot of uh interview material beforehand so i had a different impression of what exploration was going to be like but could be wrong Trying to decide whether I'm hungry now and order it now or get it later. Let's see, it's eight. Now nah, we gotta get it now. And yeah, we can always eat it later. Alright, let me uh So when can you when can you rename your guy? Cause I want him to say Joe. So I want him to say Joe. Uh, simply head to any enhance shop and pay 500 credits. Anyone, anyone know where an enhance shop? Where's the first enhance shop? Active Router, thank you so much for joining, my friend. Going above and beyond. Call sign Slinky, been with him 34 months. I appreciate every damn one of them. Gremlins84, hey, hey, man. Tier 3, oh my god, Gremlins. Dude, Gremlins, I love you. Thank you for allowing me to do allowing me to do what we do here at the Angry Joe Show. Pikachu. J-Man. I'm enjoying Starfield. I'm sure this game isn't what people was expecting. It's kind of shocking at first, but once you do get used to the systems and the way they decided to do it, it's going to feel better. That's what I'm thinking. It's like getting through the first season of Expanse. It's worth it in the end. Yeah, but are you convincing yourself you like it? Holdan. Doom. Thank you. I want it to be like, boom, I like it from the in, you know, the outset. I mean, I, I do like it from the outset. We'll give it, we'll give it some more time here. 
let's really dive in. Without the boys here, the boys, uh, you know, it's weekend, so they went home. They got to take care of chores and all sorts and living life things. We also have some friends coming in into town, so we got to prep for that. So let's really sink in some some hours into the menus and and really kind of dive in. And I think that's where you'll get the enjoyment out of it is you'll really see you haven't we haven't really done anything. Uh So let's just do this first little mission. They didn't <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Oh no, that better not better not I'm not better not be getting sick or something. Uh, did I just open this? Did Mike, what's up? Howdy, Joe. Love the QA. Thanks for being a play tester. <laughs> Love you, bro. <laughs> play tester. That's right. We were. We were all play testers. All right. Let's take off. Let's go to this damn prognosis improved burns. Initializing process. And off we go. Gurn TV, thank you. You need some good sound for when the ship, you know, goes where it goes. And it's got good sound. Uh, so, I don't think... I should put my cam there. Let's put let's find a new place for the cam. Maybe I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's see. Out in space we have that. If we put it way up in the corner, perhaps. Okay. So, we want to quickly figure out what we're doing. If we get into the game, you need to go here. Okay. They, they opt for these quarters, quarter screen missions. Straight down. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. Alright. I discovered a lost audio slate with the final words of Roy Mensa. He left instructions for locating his wife and son in New Atlantis. He asked whoever discovered it to deliver it to his wife. Barrett wants me to take the artifact to his colleagues in Constellation. I'll have his ship, the Frontier, and his robot, Vasco, for the journey. So that's the one that we should probably go to, but I tell you what. I don't think we're done at this planet. I don't think we're done at this planet. Let me read some of what you guys are saying here. Welcome back, Joe. Okay. Alex seemed to like it. Okay. Uh, it's not boring. Okay. Um, I've had all the usual issues, even with having it on SSD. I tried to make sure it was on SSD. Uh, but I'm enjoying the world, the assets, there's a massive potential if it can get to be smooth. It's just, you gotta slug it out until a hotfix. So what, what is broken, Holdan? One thing I openly said about ship combat, I prefer the more complex crosshair ship combat like Star Wars Squadrons and something like Starfield. Starfield, Papan, Buddy Girl, uh, Papa, uh, Papa. Yeah, this, this space combat, is it really overly simplistic for you, I guess? Bethesda fucked it up, says Orange Strain. I sense you're going to be a space pirate and begin stealing dilithium crystals and boom, Star Trek Trexels 3. <laughs> Ultra Naga. But Bethesda has a lot of content to recycle. It, it does feel like a lot of recycled Bethesda content. They already have a HUD mod. Thanks for streaming again. Well, Tony, thanks for coming and, and, and watching my stream. I need you to come watch. 
This game is great so far. I know people have issues with it, but uh, the experience as a whole is incredible. I love the depth of things, uh, how each computer is hiding details and new content. Yeah, you got to immerse it. You know, honestly, I don't think this is a game where I can have Joe and Alex hovering over my shoulder. I feel like I need to be, like, overly entertaining. You know, and, and, and as a stream game, you want to try to entertain people and do wild and wacky things. But I think this this is one of those games that really works best when you just per, you're just playing it on, by yourself. And you're on this personal discovery of what you can, can and can't do. Space Pirates are awesome, hence why Firefly is a classic. I went with the soldier background, so we could definitely dip into piracy. Better HUD for Starfield on Nexus mods if you're interested. Now, what does it do? Can one do a thing? What exactly is the problem that they were like, we really just need to change the HUD? So let me look at my status. You have an affliction. Take the corresponding remedy to cure it. Go to your inventory and look for your items in the aid. So what afflictions do I have? Status effects. I've got burns, lung damage, and a sprain. Okay, I, I want to get rid of those. It did, yeah. Merman. Yeah, that's me right now. <coughs> Soul Man Eleven, thank you for for doing for joining. Let let me go into my inventory and see if there's anything that I have now that can help get rid of this, these these afflictions, right? So is there aid? Yeah, there it is. So what am I looking for? I do see these little triangles down here. Well, they all have the triangles. And not a single one in these bullet points. Ah, oh, here's one. Sprain, so this treats sprain, immobilizer. I only have one immobilizer. Let's do it. Sprain cured. Okay, you didn't see that because in the interface it didn't it I covered this window covered it up. So maybe that's not where we want to put the interface. Behold the power of ramen. That wasn't ramen though. Treats burns and frostbite. What else do I have? I have burns. What is prognosis good? Will will the status effect eventually go away on its own? Maverick. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Oh, fuck, that sucks. But I'm glad that you're hanging out with us today. Behold. I'm impressed by the graphics. They're not amazing, but for Bethesda, it's a solid leap. Uh, Ayakuza, these are a leap in graphics, bro. I guess I would need to play, uh, I need to jump back into, I, I mean, they're better than Fallout 76. But hell, anything's better than Fallout 76. Sleeping speed, it will go away eventually, you think? So I'll tell you what, let's let's do this. Let's um a lot of people don't know this, but I think you could just hold B here. And you can back out of your You can back out there. Well I think I guess you do know that. A lot of people do know that, but um Let's go to the bed. Let's go to bed and sleep. I don't know. It's a good a good eight hours and see what happens to our afflictions or our statuses.
Yeah, it's not. It didn't get rid of them. You, you. It seems like you do have to do actively do something about your status effects. So. Let's try putting the cam right here and tell me if you can see when I cure a condition. My ship has a med bay? I haven't done any exploring on my ship. Maybe we should do this? Can one do a thing? Does it have a med bay up in here? Let's do some exploring. We've got a jump seat. No, let's just jump a seat. Okay. You would think that, you know, the ship would have... Oh, a research station. That's interesting. If not, then most cities. Okay, yeah. Navigation control. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. In short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Let's uh, cure our burn. Did you see Burns cured? No, this still covered it up. <laughs> I mean, that shit is low. It's like way, it's like right here. I don't think anything, uh, let's see, lung damage? What cures lung damage? We got Tyler J. Kush. What up, Kush man? My boy, my boy Cushman. I don't think I have something that cures uh, lung damage. Certain antibiotics, maybe. No. All right, we'll just have to roll with lung damage for a little bit. Let's look at this navigation console. I'm gonna go ahead and reland. Yeah, man review will be done by Tuesday night. I wanna get in some Starfield. I mean I should really be editing Madden right now and tomorrow, but there's a convention I'm going to tomorrow and then Sunday we're gonna be that's my my day. Sunday's my day. But I usually stream with Jay. Uh some tabletop games. Some nerdy shit. Uh, and then I gotta get I gotta get better about button habits. So what you want to do is you want to do LB, and then you want to do RB, LB RB LB RB. So I want to go. I want a 100%. What is survey 70%? I'm gonna assume that it's basically if I go and discover this unknown thing, then it'll give me 100%. I don't like that I can't click on the thing because it says you have not discovered this location yet. So I could set a waypoint like that right near it, but I hate that. But Starfield says we actually put indicators on your compass. And no, you don't. See, look, I coughed. That's annoying. Again. Boom. Boom. I think you already know the answer to whether Madden is better or not. You already know the answer, my friend.
I don't really like going anywhere at night. I like seeing these beautiful maps and planets in the in the daylight where I can see it. I don't like streaming games on Twitch at night because I want you guys to see. Not have to fucking stress to see things. But it is good to every once in a while. Have a different experience. So I guess because I 100%ed the dust thing. Whatever this thing used to be called, it's not going to scan anymore. That's a thousand meters away? Is there not like a motherfucking goddamn motherfucking goddamn motherfucking Land Rover or something? Can I get a little Mass Effect help here? Do I got to walk all the way there? Fuck. Oh, there goes my flashlight. Thank you. Izuka. No land vehicles. Bro. Bruh. Bruh. This shit needs land vehicles. Even No Man's Sky is land vehicles. Technology recharge. Catnum 58. Thank you very much for deciding to go above and beyond. I don't know why uh, the notifications are breaking. Maybe let's try again. Let's go with I'm gonna turn off screen capture and go with game capture. And then I'm gonna Subscribe, redo that. Bitches. Wait. So it is scannable. Notice that that other dust route did not have a highlight on it. I think it was a bug. So, 100% scanned, it's resources, is made out of fiber, it's biome, is volcanic planet, so this is a volcanic. Genetics, double helix, carbon base, reproduction, self-cloning. Okay. Thank you for the info. I gotta get a jetpack that can uh, has more boost to it. Where are the aliens at? Well, when I first landed, I murdered a few bugs. Cause the only good bug is a dead bug. Did I just break my leg? I sprained something. That's nice. Fuck fall damage in full effect I just wasted that uh, <laughs> health thing on fixing my sprain what the fuck is red Shit, I'm out of ammo there. Equinox. I haven't used this yet. Uh, I have what appears to be an outpost. I'm approaching the outpost. I see no activity. Can't tell what uh, is highlighted red, though. Mistress Pyrotessa. This game is so boring, smiley face. 96 months. I can't tell whether you... I, I, sarcasm goes right over my head. <laughs> ah, it's just light. 
a radio station, huh? This is wild. What is this place? So there's just going to be random installations. Approaching installation now, command. And chat, you are command. I'm going to call you Twitch command. Twitch command, I'm uh, approaching the station now. Uh, be advised, uh, or actually... This game starts off slow, says Tyler. This is one of the few games that gets better as you play. Space magic, space customization, space spaceship. But this outputs. one is Khalifa. Know, actually mag. Uh, Twitch command, do I have permission to enter the outpost? <laughs> permission to engage with caution. Uh, roger that twitch command. I'm uh, approaching the base now. Uh, be advised, do we go in hot or stealthy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I did not expect that. Space mines. Who the fuck would have expected that? Uh, am I dead? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Help me, please. Oh, Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, that's it. We're going in loud. Mother truckers. First, we loot. Now we fight. If there was one mine around here, there's going to be more. Get out of here? Huh. Who I who are these people? Did it, it does say pirate. Okay. Well, I think we are taking on a whole base. Let's give it a shot. What the fuck? Uh, Twitch command, I have engaged. I need backup. Send backup. I can't and get too many, too many. I'm falling back. Fuck! Commander Joe. Commander Joe. Commander Joe. Do you read? No, I don't read. I'm fucking dead. <sighs> I'm unsure if I can handle this. We're gonna go in. The creative way. Fuck. Shh. 
Detective Clouseau, what the fuck? Red. Fuck up. Some Ethan Bradbury? It's Ethan! Shut the fuck up. Pirate base. Fuck. Move, Marines. We are leaving. This thing. This thing is an issue. We are too low level. LS2 GTO 2006. Thank you very much. Uh, Twitch command, please advise uh, further action. Should I uh, retreat and come back later? Why am I losing oxygen? Joint pain. That's, that's nice. Uh, retreat. We'll give it one more. We'll give it one more go. But is there an actual way to do stealth? Fucking kill that robot dog. Yeah. If we could just isolate that dog. What I'm thinking... Is if I can hit that dog from far away, pull him to me, and just nah, he's gonna he's gonna charge. What do you see, Leon? She didn't see me. She saw me. And there's the dog. Okay. Now we got the dog on us. We're okay. Come on. Come on, doggy. Come on, little doggy. We're taking fire from the roof. Is that the dog? Okay, we can't take fire from multiples. There he comes. Here we okay, we're in business. I've lost him. Not getting good hits. We're taking fire from the entire base. Got a crit. I really need to study my shots. Got him. All right. We're all right. We're all right now. We can handle these chumps. Not at long range, though. I'm going to close the distance. Oh, fuck. Woo! Nice. A Leroy? What the fuck? 
your ass down, clown. Sounds like she's right on me. Anti-personnel maelstrom. Whoo! Anti-personnel coachman. Let's see what this. Let's see what this baby's like. Holy shoddy! What the fuck? Oh, I'm glad I moved. That would have killed me. Where's that shit coming from? They probably killed themselves. We gotta stay in close quarters if we wanna use this. There he is. Oh, he's in for a rude awakening. Pop! Why didn't, why didn't my robot come with me? Shit, I'm over encumbered too. The free amigos! <coughs> Alright, Carlton Banks, I'm glad you're here to watch. We're taking on a pirate base. I, I can still take off if I'm over encumbered, right? I just have to walk the whole way. So you eat anything or drink anything? Uh, orange chicken, some good, some good ass late last night food, bro. I I did. I did. in fact, you just reminded me. My food just got dropped off right now. I'm gonna go pick it up downstairs. I mean, if we kill this entire base, then we're going to be the richest guy starting off the game. 
It's just hauling all this loot back to the ship. They're gonna be the issue. Okay. Whew. What's for dinner? I got soup dumplings. Little uh little soup dumplings. And some popcorn chicken. Oh, thank you. Like my shirt? Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Camos. Camos 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. I should have died. having trouble aiming sometimes in the game like I'll go past the person this place has like so much shit to loot Fragmentation mine. Circuit board. Running while encumbered. Man, we got a lot of walking to do when we have all this shit on us. It took us a long time to get back to the ship. But you know what? It, do do you go to a store like right after you leave this this first planet? If so, then all this is for something. If not, all this is for nothing. <coughs> what the fuck? I need like a local map or something. Shotgun ammo is rare. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Let's switch it on over to the Maelstrom. This, I got plenty of ammo. And in fact, I think I've got a better version of the Maelstrom right now. So what is blue? These are a little better. These are rare. Woo! Is that good? Yeah, 20. 12? Oh, the fire rate is interesting. How do I put it in an empty slot? I'd like to quick slot it. I wonder if you can quick slot it from this menu. You have to do it in the inventory. That sucks. Weapon workbench. Oh, that's a... What's this all about? We can upgrade these things. Berserkle Grendel. That's cool. Well, I don't want to upgrade anything yet because I don't know what I like. Let me find something I like before I start upgrading, you know? Settler poncho outfit. Crafting. Mm. 
Not a working computer. Permanently reduce the fuel needed for a grab jump by 1%. Yeah. Skill bonus acquired. So there's going to be skill bonuses. I don't know what a jump pack attack is yet, Tony. I feel like there should be... So, is there like a mini-map? Surface map. Hmm. No. I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> What's going on here? I guess we'll just... I guess there's, uh, we'll go upstairs. I know there's motherfuckers somewhere here. I told you, there's no one there. So does crouching hurt me? Why, it's, why is my joint pain going crazy? Yeah, I guess crouching hurts. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, brother. Let's get a soup dumpling. Scanner in the uh, bottom left is not going to show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the individual workings of a fucking base. Jesus fucking! Is that a fucking turret? I feel like it's a turret. guys I'm fucked I got red all over the place loot after killing everyone you know well you're not wrong you're not wrong all right I'll drop my loot I just hate I'll put all my loot here
Thank you, Jerk Off Jones. <laughs> jerk Off Jones. All right. Jerk Off. Ooh, suppressed millstone. Commencing attack. None shall stop us. We will crush the enemies of the Imperium. Space Marines attack! Die, scum! Eat bolt gun! No prisoners! For the Emperor! The area is secure. Mission accomplished. Captured. Okay. Zona two three one. The big five oh. Okay, well, we're ready. Oh but Okay, this stuff will stay here, yes. Here we go. Ooh, I feel light and nimble. That's a level six. I gotta need a sniper rifle scope. Here in a second one. Running out of ammo quick. Fuck! Alright, you bitch. I got a lot of credits. You're going for it. Level two pirate. Oh. Whatever. Fuck do you get up there? Sixteen. How am I liking the game so far? Oh! Mur mines. I'm liking it. That's a fucking turret.
Kill 20 enemies with a ballistic weapon just completed. What do we do with these turrets? Yeah, I just saw that in time to heal. Feels like uh, close combat is the most effective thing. I'ma fuck all the shooting. Just, just cut them up. Look at that planet over there. That's cool. We're gonna rest. I mean, so, I think I'm done. I think I've killed everything here. It's hard to tell. It feels like there's more. Oh, shit. I'm encumbered again. know how I'm gonna do this I think I'm gonna take all my loot and I'm gonna go home can someone answer me one thing do I get a store right after leaving this planet right does it take me to a hub or whatever you know one small step Barrett wants me to take the artifact to his colleagues and constellations so if I if I go to All right, well, let's go to the main city. Let's go grab our loot downstairs and it's gonna be a long walk. And for some reason, my robot Roscoe didn't come with me. My robot's name is Roscoe. Yours is Vasco. Mine's Roscoe. Power charm, baby. I cannot fast travel back when I am encumbered. From what I remember. That I do remember. Watch. Because then, yeah, that'll just... So I got a trek. I gotta huff it and puff it. We got a long trek, devil dog. I wanna grab something to drink. 
At least this game lets you run uncumbered. Yeah, a lot of games will just straight up stop you. But I want the extra $100 or whatever I'm going to get. May not be worth it. Jaimaru, the game. Uh, oh, fuck. Stupid mountain. It is uh, Fallout 70. It, oh, wait, wait. Mm, I was saying the wrong one. This is Fallout 4 in space. Fallout, I, I need some quick way to describe to people who come in. How's the game? How are you liking the game? How's the game? How's, gonna, how's the game? Give me the, give me the score right now. 10 out of 10. Uh, it's Fallout 4 in space. It's Fallout 4 with a space skin. Do you like Fallout 4? Oh, fuck. Jabal Day. Jabal Day. One year anniversary. Thank you, Jabal Day. I love your name. Why'd, I, why'd there have to be this goddamn mountain? Sixteen times the Fallout 4. I'm a cool dude. I'm a cool dude too. Point oh. He's too cool. Khalifa gifting subs in chat. All right, let's let's rest. This let's go all the way to is, to no, actually Mac to fucking white. I don't want to say Mass Effect because in Mass Effect at least they gave you the uh, what do they call the Romer? The air. Don't tell me. They gave the vehicle, the driving vehicle, a name. Marco, Mako, the Mako. The um. Is it Mako? Did I get it right? Oh boy, that's my memory. It's beer time. You know what it is? Uh, I'm still drinking this orange soda. Let me finish the orange soda. Technology Space pants. <laughs> Space pants. Space pants. Let's get the Space Pants song. Just do it. <laughs> okay. Steppy, the weird gamer. Thank y'all. Thanks for all the content, man. Well, thank you for 50 months of support. It's because of you that there's that much content. It really is. 
And the weird gamer now too. 2112. Quick save. Doesn't it do this shit on its own? What's the quick save button? Devil Doe. Devil Doe. Devil Doe. F5. What? You're right. Damn it. We're gonna wait for our fucking bar to fill, god damn it. Pull damn, that is such a weird story, man. But I'm glad you told me because that's. A, I, I just wonder what all the wild, wacky shit that happens in the world. Holy fuck! Whoa! Gremlins '84. That's the year I was born, my friend. Wowie. Motherfucking Neil Druckmann ruined my game. As far as I'm concerned, this isn't canon. Motherfucking Neil I should have been holding the controller Ethan Bradbury? forward this whole way. Chris Roo! Or Kiss Roo! <laughs> Joe, what up? Love your channel. Been watching a decade. Keep up the good work. Damn. A decade. It's been a while. We've been out there for a while. I'm trying to do a walk. Like, hold the walk pace. I wonder if there's a button where you just hold the walk pace. Instead of having to half push the stick forward. Old man gaming. Rest in peace, Ray. Yep. Miss him too. Is that man? Autopilot is what I want. Yeah. Is there no auto one rock? I, I don't know actually. I do not know if there's an auto one auto run or walk. I would want an auto walk, not an auto run though. Alright, I think we can go. I think we can go now. Fuck it. Let's see how far we can get by runner. Nah, we're just way too encumbered. Yeah, melee is kind of it's kind of kind of janky, but I kind of like it. I like the jank. I guess the only reason why I like it is super effective. The AI cannot handle it. That's why I'm rocking an axe. We made it, chat. We are carrying so much shit. It's not even funny. All right, let's get out of here and do the main quest. Let's go to the first city or whatever. Hopefully, they don't require me to do a bunch of bullshit. Should I heal? Might as well. No, cause don't. Do you get health back for sleeping? Shouldn't have health. I shouldn't have healed.
Up and at him. There is a storage place on my ship to put my shit. Well, there's no point in it right now because um, I'm just going to keep it on me. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it on me. I'm just going to sell it. All right, let's go where we need to go. Uh, what button? Uh, let's see. One small step is tracked. That's the ship. It's the star map. Back out. Excuse me. I guess that's where I'm at. And I need to go to Alpha Centauri. Set. Jump. Grab jump. Grab jump pending. Power up. Grab grab drive okay multi-power las ball msl joe if you put things in your spaceship storage you can sell it directly to someone without having to pick it back up there's a spaceship inventory win trading Mwah! that's good then that that makes me happy. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know when we're there. Did she just say prepare to be boarded? No contraband detected. You are clear for landing in New Atlantis. Where is this storage that you speak of? Eight feet. I like how encumbered works because it gives you the option to pretty much play death training, but in space. Some Ethan Bradbury? Some Ethan Bradbury? Some Ethan. I guess I don't have to go to it. Cargo hold LB? What is this? Inventory? Well, how do you do it? It's physically behind your planet. See? Huh? No, it's not. This? The captain's locker? It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. It was the cargo hold panel. Cargo hold. Uh, okay, well. Can I actually just go from here? What if I just. How do I. I gotta. I guess I gotta go to the actual cargo hold. So now that I'm in a cargo hold. Take would be A. See, I don't like, no, it, it, why isn't this, you know, this is taking. I don't want to take. I want to put back. So then you got to go to main inventory. And now, when I'm looking at things, like, for example, let's go to all, and let's sort by weight. Now, now what? Why can't I just, I'm in my ship. I'm looking at the bottom. Compared to equip, hide space, drop X. Where is A? Do you see A? Do you see A at the bottom of the fucking screen? A is equip. Okay, 
And if I drop the item, then I'm just fucking dropping the item on the fucking floor. I don't want to drop the fucking item on the fucking floor. I got a captain's locker. I wonder if there's an actual cargo hold. Let me explore the ship. Blue tablet behind me? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Blue tablet. Blue tablet. Ah, blue tablet. No, that's... That's not doing anything. Blue tablet here. Ah, there you go. Okay, transfer with X. Boom. I don't want to take. Okay, I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to weapons. <coughs> Store. There it is. Finally. Finally. All right. Well, first, let's see what weapons we want. We want to keep the coach. Uh, Anti-personnel maelstrom compared to equip. A normal maelstrom and an anti-personnel maelstrom is exactly the same except for 10% damage against humans. Suppressed maelstrom. Suppressor. Tactical grip. Let's keep that suppressed one. We don't need four rescue axes, right? So we're going to store three of them. Why is it a heart? Oh, because it's favorited. Okay. Uh, rattler. A rattler uses... It's got a 12-round mag. 11 physical damage. I guess I want to try every gun. Kraken, Grendel, Exterminator Modified Maelstrom. Well, this Exterminator is better. 30% damage against aliens. Well, we'll take that. Eon. Cutter? Why do we need so many cutters? We don't need four cutters. Oh, fuck. How do I undo? We'll just have to pull it out later. Anti-personnel rip shank. We can get rid of the normal rip shank. Okay, spacesuits. Three mining spacesuits. We're not even using that, so we're going to store all of our spacesuits. Those are very heavy. Packs. We want to wear the best pack. Physical up, energy up, EM up, thermal up, corrosive up, but it's he mass 9. How can I tell how much boost it has? I guess basic. Basic boost pad. So we want to go with the Varu. Oops, did I store it? Fuck. Whatever. This one. Corrosive is higher. Physical is higher. Store that. Store that. Apparel. 
This is for when I do what? A poncho. I want a poncho. Throwables, ammo, aid, notes. So resources, I could store all these, right? Because you don't do you don't do the crafting. Do you do the crafting? Do you have to have these things on you? The the mass is very very small, but if you look, it it adds up. You know, so so I could just put all this stuff in storage, and it'll it'll still pick it up. Put my board game away. Okay, Biggie, eight, 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 Biggie, DVS bastard, thank you, nice helmet, is your character name Tic-Tac-Toe? It is now, Tic-Tac-Toe, Tic-Tac-Toe Joe, Tic-Tac-Joe, Tic-Tac-Joe. What is B-A-L? An MSL. Ballistics and missiles and then lasers. How do I get to the... That's a quick way of doing it. Pointing at it. Okay. Where's Vasco? Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Okay, he's talking, but he was way over there. Does he not follow me? I'm not done you talking to you. Inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Bro, turn around when I'm talking to you. Need some work done? My ship needs some repairs. I don't even know if it does. Okay, no problem. What? Whoa. Okay. Damn. Right. 
I got three weapon systems. Okay. <clears throat> Someone built a Star Destroyer. That would be pretty sweet. Let's see what I'm ships sure you have for sale. Something you like? Look at the cargo capacity on this. That doesn't make any sense. 920, and it's smaller than something like this. And this has no cargo capacity. 200. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. I like that one. Uh, three hundred thousand dollars. I have five thousand dollars. <laughs> okay. Ah. Just check out the Trade Authority kiosk next to my booth. Otherwise, there's Jemison Mercantile further in. Okay. Next to your booth. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Viewport to the left. Trade authority. Okay. Vendor sell. Um, can I go straight to my cargo hold? I thought you said I could sell stuff directly from my ship. Oh, there it is. Sell from ship inventory. LB. The interface kind of sucks. To be perfectly honest. Sell from, sell from, from. Seventeen bucks. Do I just sell it all? How much can my ship hold? Oh, I guess there it is. Mass 135. My ship can only hold 135? What do I need ship parts? Uh, see, uh, I need some kind of button that, that help. I need some kind of indicator that tells me the difference between junk and shit that can be used in the game for other things. I just want to sell the junk that I've been picking up the whole fucking game. And I picked up quite a bit of junk. I can't fucking tell the difference. Oh, there was junk? Oh, shit, I didn't see it. I don't see the junk. Big Schmidt! Thank you. 
Miscellaneous is junk. Interesting. My ship doesn't have a miscellaneous category. But I have a miscellaneous category. Miscellaneous digipicks. That's not junk. Uh, I'm definitely not junk. Okay. Sky Blue Man 247. Was Todd right? Are there thousands of planets to explore? I don't know, man. I just started. I ain't trying to rush through to make any kind of confirmations of lying and not lying. I don't, I don't give. Right now, I'm just trying to take it all in. All right, let's go over to the city here. I don't know what's going on. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> Uh, we'll ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM-1327 HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate proper... They fly now! Protocols. They fly now. They fly now. Impression so far. Oh, God damn it, Jinx. Fuck. It took every five seconds of giving my impressions, bro. <laughs> uh, Fallout 4 in space. Aha. Fallout 4 in space. A little too Fallout 4 in space. A little, a little too Raphael. celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City. I'm present T. It's not showing my poncho. Um, no, I want my yes, poncho. No, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis... I'm going to say, it's exactly Fallout 4 in city. space. Oh, don't even get me started on this. Not. A little unfair, don't you think? Not. Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit. A Not next back. gen Fallout 4 in space. Mary. But I've only played for what, an hour and a half? Even help with some Give me some time, so man. Emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you Damn, these motherfuckers, motherfuckers talk! Just give me to be fair, I'm eavesdropping. Let me just interrupt the motherfucker. May I help you? <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? Damn, bro, you ugly. The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous. You look than like plastic. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet. Everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just flew through. Is the your stars face tired? Dream. I'm sorry. My face is tired. <laughs> that's such a good that's such a good meme. I'm sorry, my face is tired. It's like the devs writing in an excuse for the way their faces look. I mean, they thought that players would hear that line and go, oh, okay. Hey, Joe, her face is tired, so that's, uh, that's why her face, her face is tired. Huh. <sighs> You must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <laughs> hint of Lemon, long time YouTube fan. Love you, Joe. Great content. Thank you, Hint of Lemon. Anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized nice and easy to fend off. Appreciate that sub. There are different Too much. beasts in the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never hmm. not what who 
How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. Mm. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. <laughs> then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Goodbye. So, um... Do you have equip space here? Navigate to my equip space suit. Hide spacesuit in settlements. Now I'm wearing a poncho. What? And the no, back of my head looks like away. I'm an asshole. I don't like that. My guy's haircut. Fuck. Shit. I sold it all. May I help you? Not now. She can't Hello. do this to me. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Is ugly, man. What's wrong with your face? When it comes to ecliptic, I know everything. It's not like it's a secret. They're mercenaries, so they work for money. And it's like, for enough money, they'll do anything. I've heard a couple of SSNN stories about them. My dad says they're horrible. Like they can pretend they're working for someone and it's official, so they do anything they want. Yeah, it was like, snakes and serpents will eat you all, Rah, the stars will squeeze you, Rah, or something like that. <laughs> I think they need psychiatric help. <laughs> Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Well, but anyway, I'm you. fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Your parents are dead. You see that scientist out in Idiot. front of the mast, staring into trees. Sound Nothing good comes from the well. It can't be that bad, right? I don't really care. Talk to the scientist by the tree. Talk to the scientist by the tree. Okay, let me check to see where the tree's at. Um, okay. Uh, this kind of looks like a tree. Maybe they mean... Maybe they mean this tree. That, that kind of looks like it, it could be a tree in this area. Maybe... Maybe they mean this tree. <laughs> Just fuck away. God, I'm imagining poor grandpa on a frozen iceberg. What's wrong with my...
You stand now in the most technologically advanced city the human race has ever conceived and constructed. New Atlantis was found in 2156, the same year we first arrived in the Alpha Centauri system. You are in the embrace of the United Colonies. Service guarantees citizenship. Would you like to know more? Uh, let's see where this tree is. Do you see this? Oh, I guess he's over here. Whoa! Did I get out of that? Oh, whatever. Hey, look at me! Go talk to the scientists by the tree. Show on the map. Why? <laughs> Show on the map. Just, just, just uh, kind of... <laughs> just, you know, somewhere in this region. <laughs> Some... Like turning in their uh, assignment late. Is it that 207? Or is that something else? Unknown. No, Frontier is my ship. This is New Atlantis. What well, fucking tree? Is it this fucking tree? We're the fucking trees! No, it's not. Ta what? That's not a fucking tree! Why would you. You stupid fuck. Just tell me. Talk to the scientists in the tram. I guess there's going to be more trees. All right. <sighs> what the fucking was that? Hey. Miss Okia, Miss 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 Happy Friday. Long week ahead. Let's go. Fallen Order Poncho vibes here. Maybe you'll run into Obi Juan Kenobi. Yeah, I'm trying to pull a little Cal Kestis. 
I really hope we get to see Calcasis in a, in like a zone series. I'd, I'd like to see the water is quite my fucking everybody's getting a Disney so Plus series. Let's give Cal a New Disney Plus series. On advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. And then he can wear his poncho. It could be cannon. I mean, technically it's already cannon. I found this asshole by the tree. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. I am not staring. I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. I work for the scientific division of MAST. Like Barack Obama. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's I don't know if I'd love to help, that's but that's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Go to the lodge. Big feeling city. And I am getting Mass Effect vibes now. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? No. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? 
How old do you think this lady is? She has that look where she's like both very young and very old. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Hmm. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Captain, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Come on, Vecman. Hello and greetings. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming greetings. together. That energy Indeed. between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. I want to start using greetings and oh, indeed. Easy girl. Greetings to you. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Indeed. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. She's the best Humanity companion, Angry. The stars, Flash. That doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Oh, man. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. And she has the best lip syncing too? The PC Gamer says there's four romanceable characters. Is she like the only attractive one? Or what is it? She's my crush. Um, maybe she, she's Joe's age. Maybe she's for Joe. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. Yeah, she's like the Kruger the professor. Kids, why don't <laughs> we set you up with a backpack with some oh, boost yeah. capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Sarah is the best possible person. Like this, focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Just checking out the goods, seeing what we're working with. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? I mean, I guess it just looks like a hunk of metal to me. I mean, I guess and I know it's floating, but I mean, we are in the future, right? I am at your service, Captain. You mind putting your signature on some documents? As much as I love uncovering new questions, I uh. wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm no I wish it was more overwhelming actually. 
And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. I like Noel's voice. The doors there. More the than Sarah's Noel and romance. This is on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Yes, ma'am. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to do nope. at the time, but most people Sarah and Andrea. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Okay. Sam and Barrett are the male options. Andrea is another older lady. Aww. Where are all the young girls at, man? What the fuck? This a this a MILF Kruger simulator and Joe's gonna love this. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. You wanna get a drink, Noah? Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were oh, almost at straight to the room, okay. Already. Let's go. But there's still one room up for grabs. I like it's a been nice having the direct place so full. approach. Let's, let's see. Nice place you got here. It's a little old, old timey for the future. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Actually, I actually think Noelle has better lip syncing and better character model than Sarah. Sarah just doesn't look like a real person. Noelle looks like a real person. Sarah just gives a weird look to her. I don't know why. This is my room. Moby Dick. Call me Ishmael some years ago. Never mind how long precisely. Having little or no money in my purse. And nothing particular to interest me on shore. I thought I would sail about a little and see the watery part of the world. And so continues. Mill's classic tale of revenge and obsession. For a total of 300. And how dare you put the rest of it there. I want to read it on stream. Word for word. Right now. Succulent. Watch case. Storage. Look for condoms. Sleep for an hour. Where are they hiding the dark secrets? Antibiotics, I need some. Antimicrobial, and I need a membrane. Treats infections. Bandits, treats contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. Cool, cool. Burns. Infections, I got an infection. I need membranes. Insane in the membrane. I got 
no brain going insane. I got no membranes. Gotta get me a membrane. Going insane in the membrane. Shut up. Just shut up. You know what, Ben? You know what, Ben? Just shut up, Ben. You know, I got a plan. Just shut up, Ben. You told me to uh, no, sh shut the fuck up. I got I gotta hear it again. I just gotta hear it again. I asked Michael why it was easier to train oil drillers to become astronauts than it was to train astronauts to become oil drillers, and he told me to shut, shut, shut the fuck up. So that, that was the end of that talk. <laughs> you know, Ben, just shut up, okay? You know, this is a real plan, all right? I was like, you mean it's a real plan at NASA to train oil drillers? He was like, just shut your mouth. <laughs> See, here's where we demonstrate that because Bruce is going to tell the guys that they did a bad job of building the... And he told me to shut, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just shut, shut, shut the fuck up. You know what, man? Weapon case. Inaccessible? This cannot be opened. I cannot steal from whoever this is. Janitor closet. Wonder if people are gonna find a theory that links fall out in Starfield. Due to Bethesda confirming the whole purpose of the Vault program was to test spacefaring simulations so the elite and powerful can lead are due to kill. And it's possible Starfield is the future created by those elites who are alive. Where is Earth? We should go to Earth and see if Earth's all fucked up. Because if it is, then you might you may be on to something. Maybe maybe there could be something there. But if Earth's all sitting pretty and b doing fine, then then that no, they're not in the same universe. Earth is pretty fucked in this universe. Oh, that sucks. Well, ooh, okay, maybe. 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 Yes. What up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I did 15 flips in the air. Sup. <laughs> Sup. Hey, you looking a little better, girl. You looking a little better in that light. Look what can I help you with? That voice. I, I th no, man. That's like. What's the girl from James Bond? Uh, not, not, not any of the young Bond girls, but. The old, the older lady. What's her name? I can't remember. M. Yeah, it's M. Yeah. The voice gives me M uh, vibes. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Give M the D. <laughs> well, then you needs to give M the D. <laughs> sure, Joe wants to give M the D. Well, if it works for you. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. She doesn't look I like a real person. Our name Noel looks a lot more, you know. Oh, that's going to hit your head. Oh, okay, that's going to hit my head. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways.
You blithering idiot. Why not did much, you not move? But you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's a pretty good impression, right? It's what we do. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. Oh, shit, shit! Let's take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. <laughs> Another great secret the universe is asking which, us. Which one looks better? Baldur's Gate dialogue or this dialogue? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, oh. usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission with you. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. Yeah. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. Yeah. That's why the constellation exists in a way. Can't be a smart ass like a Fallout. Like no! No, Catnam! No, if you can't be a smart ass to to put it. Yeah, it does seem like like a goody little two shoes, goody little two shoes, goody little two shoes. I want to be a fucking jerk. You have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking I handle with myself you like this. this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact how do you or handle yourself? Runs dry. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. Got it, you and me, until we get that artifact. Actually, there's some things I want to do on my own. What do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. Yeah, that grin was creepy. She's. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Not per not particularly attracted to her, and eh, nor her voice. That scowl's not helping either. I'd rather hook up with Noel. Where Noel at? Noel. Noel. My valuable. Uh. Oh, uh, he means precious. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll fix that later. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Bat me. Are, are you okay? <laughs> Thank you, Bat Meows. Got it. Until uh, me, you and me, until we get the artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. All right. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Um. 
What? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Mm. Good. Let's My character sounds so boring. It should be like, shall we? I like that. Or say, you know, I don't know. Like, I like the sound of that. I like a person who bends the rules from time to time. Where are you going? Uh, oh, oh, the happening. This is the happening. It's happening. Everybody's walking backwards. Service, the plants, Captain. they're taking over. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Noel. Don't worry about this, Sarah. She, she means here, nothing to me. This has felt like home. These people are... Stay safe, okay? Hey, I need you to look at me when, I, when I'm talking to you, Noel. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know. See you later. There you go. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. See, that voice is a lot easier on my ears. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Maybe we can uh, talk, talk about it over... Uh dinner let me know how I can help you uh, learn more well right now nothing's off the table metallurgical analysis chemical I got composition. you nothing's off the table everything. chat one thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database this isn't mind. Baldur's Gate 3 Joe you talk to every single person and you start flirting and you know? We Just romance option up. every single If you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting stuff. We're all just came from Baller's Game 3. Again, and that's just the mode I'm in. Organic stuff. You're into the organic stuff. Got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, Oops. the more thorough I'm, I'm naked. I, do. I don't know how and that happened. <laughs> I can pay pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. I've got some organic resources for you. Come on! Come on! This is Baldur's Gate 3! I've, I've, got, I've got some organic resources for you. Great. Let's see what you have. Uh, uh, okay. She's, I don't know about you, but that's that's pretty direct. She said, let's see what you have. Well, I, I don't really have much. Oh, right, that. If we we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Yes. I like Noel better. Which one you like better, Jen, Noel or Sarah? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, 
like if it's primed to have life. Sarah Connor. Stay safe, okay? Okay, I will. No, I'll. bye. I don't. What, what do you want me to do? Let's check. Sarah's coming with me. I need to speak to her contact in the U.S. Vanguard, UC Vanguard, about a possible lead. A tree grows in New, Ad New Atlantis. I need to collect sensors scattered around the city and bring them to him so he can analyze the recordings. Because he's an asshole and he can't—he doesn't have fucking feet that will take him places, and he's lazy. Bring the lost words to uh, wife and son in New, New Atlantis. Let's do. Let's deliver the audio slate that we found. This man's dying wish. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Running smoothly, that's good. So I'm getting 30, maybe 60. What chat? Look at me that way. You ain't never seen a man run with a poncho on? Eastwood. That's what I was going for. Wish I could. I wonder if I can find a cowboy hat. Bet you you can, space cowboy. Come on now. You can use your guns and jetpack in the city. Oh, wow. that's cool. I'm afraid I... Do you know a Roy? That's my husband. Is he in some kind of trouble? Well, um... I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Okay. What's wrong? What's this? Oh, I... I see. I don't know. I don't have... I don't know what to say. Thank you. I'm... Thank you for bringing this to me. <laughs> I'm a therapist. Life's hard sometimes, but you need to be strong now. Now more than ever. Because they're coming. They're coming for you. They're coming for your children. Come for everybody! Let's run! Everybody run! <laughs> I want to be a I want to be a crazy guy. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Yeah, he does. Uh, did we loved him very much? I'm sorry. I need to go. Where's the asshole choice? There is none. Unfortunately, that's yeah, that sucks. Classic highball made with whiskey and soda, garnished with lemon. Mm. That's mine. Give it back. Really? Hey there. Al Alyssa Milano. Well, it's nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis. I, I literally just stole your drink. 
<laughs> oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice, know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. I You're did. I was drinking this want. drink and then you yelled at me. For you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. <laughs> I can use a I can use a drink. Sure thing. What can I get you? <laughs> she gonna arrest me? Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Catch you later. I have a bounty of 226? What was that? Because I stole your fucking drink? Fuck you. Did you put a bounty on me, bitch? I will, I will kill you. And I will kill everyone here. You offered me a drink. I really Sarah love this place. Is. Couldn't imagine no, living anywhere I was else. Just mentioning you to someone. Oh, not this again, Nessa. I'm fine. I really am. I'm just saying. None of those rocks you spend time digging up are going to keep you warm at night. I'm just. Oh, Sarah out. ain't got no chin. I, I, I'm, I'm warm enough. But thank you. Anything I can do for you? Holy shit, Sarah! I, I didn't know you had a sister. Logan Colin. Hi, how are you? Do you like living here? Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? There is a huge tree in the embassy district, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but Scribe, I think bitches. everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I... Thank you. Creelorn. Thank you, Creelorn. That, that was the answer. In restaurants than it was. I asked Michael why it was easier to train oil drillers to become astronauts than it was to train astronauts to become oil drillers and he told me to shut 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 the fuck up so that, that was the end of that talk he's like you know ben just shut up okay you know this is real plan all right just love trees oh sure there's always tons of travel into new atlantis so there's no shortage of people to meet mm -hmm. i love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys mm -hmm. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Mm -hmm. Unlike my more, job. more, more. I want the actual more. I want the actual more. Yeah, you can turn off sub only. Why is it on? See you. I, I don't. I don't think I turned it on. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Uh, Sarah. Oh, there you go. There you go, girl. I think it's time we went our separate ways. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Fine by me. Do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my We are free! Center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Mm -hmm.
You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Yeah, well, uh, chat, what's the other romance things. option, and where is where is she? So long. The hunter. You were looking very interesting in the corner here. <laughs> Not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front and tends to make things easier. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You find the other lady during the main campaign. Like and okay. To want to shoot you got a picture of her no, angry flash? Even without that, it's still winner take all. Is she single? Well, you're on to me. Yeah, you got that right. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess it depends on what she sounds like. What do you think, Jack? Are you high? Why does your beard look so fake, Bert? Hey, Space Cowboy! I knew there'd be a cowboy. Space! So I can kill him, take his hat. I think they'd make the romance options a little more, I don't know, spicy or I'm sure we'll see attractive. each other again. All right, we'll be seeing each other again, Hunter. It's kind of cool. And I'm sure we will. Yo, Gideon, out of my way. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Ballistic weapon systems 
missile weapon systems. Hey, weapon experts, huh? Hmm, what kind of debts we talking about? The kind that need to be paid off quickly, or else I'm in big trouble. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Fucking ran into Gideon. <laughs> right there. Okay. Well, Raphael. I take the money. I take the money. Raphael. Wait, uh, wait, they're all in this bar? Jesus, what? How many cities are there in this game? Two? Okay, so... Marika? Simeon? And Gideon. So... Marika and Simeon. And if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to keep the detail that to myself. You can Unless romance Hunter, though? Hire me, of course. Can you romance Hunter, though, is what you're saying. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I want to go with Hunter. He actually seems really yeah, far more interesting. Damn. Guess I'll try someone else. That sounded ominous. That sounded... Hey. Damage control specialist? Do you have room for one more on your crew? Engineering is my specialty. I'm trained to optimize your repair systems to keep your ship up and running. I like your voice. Engineering is my specialty. No more than the average crew person's salary. Jesus fucking Christ! I don't, I don't even have 6,000. And then he stays with me forever? I think I should pay you that much. Oh. Smile went down real fast. Marika, there's, there's this other. Hey there. You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Why is everybody's voice so weird? Uh, I... You don't match the everybody's voice doesn't match the if you're gonna get a voice actress just make it look like that stop You're back Plenty I'm comfortable on a ship especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns I have the certification to prove it Hmm uh, I guess that's goodbye then. Uh, safe travels. Can I get them all, or I, I don't know how these work. Let's go look here. Unique crew members. So there's there's the normal crew, and then there's the unique. I wonder if they cost them. I guess they probably also cost money. It's like Pokemon. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. How much is Gideon then? All right, let's see. This is one of they them. Picked a good day to... Hold on, I can't. I can't see. Do even. I need a shower or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hope life is treating you well. He picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making him strong today. Ooh, a sniper marksman. You in uh, yeah. town for business? Cheers. Nothing like a cold one after a long trip through the space lanes, if you ask me. You said it. I'm going to go grab me a beer right now. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for mass. Nothing like a beer after a hard day's work. I'm about to slurp in your ear, chat. But I promise it'll just be once. So you can get the full effect of the beer. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a cold one.
Yeah, he's kind of like Alex. Bet you if his hair was black, he'd look a lot more like him. Today is your lucky day. Well, I'll be damned. What a coincidence. Working on a ship sounds perfect. I was hoping my next job would get me out of the city. What's your offer? Holy fuck! Bro, I'm broke as fuck, man. I can't do Blame shit. Shower or something? <laughs> yeah. Probably do. Do I need a shower or something? I gotta make more money. I will. I will recruit him. I like him. I've flown across most of the sea systems all my existence, and yet I'm still this. Enjoy that beer. Oh yeah, nice cold beer, chilled to about thirty-six degrees. It's you and me from here out. It's life, simple pleasures. Wait a minute. Is this sushi? God damn it, now I want some sushi. Okay, it's above me. I just think I need to go all in. I don't want to Favorite beer? I guess I don't really have one. Um I don't really drink beer that often. Dos Equis, I guess. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et Ultra. You look like you know how to handle yourself. Know how to fly. Vanguard might well have a place for you. I like that there's little dynamic things going on. I don't know if it, you know, the scripted to happen near me. Sarah. Good to see you. I guess it is. Your friend. Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Subscribe, oh, another bitches. space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with JS Vanguard? Man? Help the United Colonies earn some credits. Two months so been, been watching for years and years. Well, thank you very much for going above and beyond the call of duty. Say, you know what, Joe? Boom. I like your stuff. I want to show a little. There you go. Bitches. Oh, my got another one. Grim Shop 57. Salute. Welcome to the army. Brand new. Let's do a little 07 in chat. Little O Big 7. Look at this. We'll get a little bit of a sub fall here. Nifnoff. Three months. What's your opinion so far? Type little O Big 7. Salute. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Opinion so far. Um, you're going to be initially disappointed, and then you're gonna you, you're gonna slowly immerse right. you're gonna slowly immerse yourself into it, and I think it's gonna really grow on you. That's what I'm feeling so far. But essentially, Fallout Four in space without. I, I was hoping for a little bit more. Let's, this one. Let's is say it's uh, actually mag. Well, thank you for the sub, Miss. I can never say your name. Tell me how to say it. Can I have a nickname for you, Miss? Missiocus. Missiocus. Um. I'd say it's like one step forward. Fallout Four in space, and Take I was kind of. And I was kind of hoping for like three steps forward, Fallout 4 in space. One ground vehicle. Yeah, I want, I want a ground vehicle. My valuable! Terrible terrors. Thank you. 
Huh. Uh, he means precious. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that later. Don't worry about that. <laughs> United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? I don't know, uh, Chad. What should we be a pirate? Should we join up you? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to reenlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Sarah, what, what is what with you your to? look, lady? Volunteer by the name Did of nobody Laura. else in Bethesda go? You know, Sarah looks a little Mars, off to me. Neptune, you know. The Soul System? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some space Botox. He's been showing up Hits the different. Her face is imagine definitely tired. Could you imagine if they put Sarah's face on the, like, it's like on the cover of the game? I, I, I don't know what, I, I don't know how to make Sarah's face. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. <laughs> I think it's because like sometimes I can't see her teeth and she looked like she got no teeth and It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there. Seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. More! 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 I want the actual more. Thank you, A.P. I didn't know that. Okay. We need to find Vanguard Morara. Who might be in possession of an artifact. He was last seen patrolling the soul system. Friendship. <laughs> My parents in Atlantis? I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go visit my parents. Champion one, thank you. Oh, shit, my parents. Let's go visit my folks, chat. Technology recharge. Mosqueda. Hey Joe, you're gonna play Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. Yes. You wanna meet my folks, chat? I don't bring just anybody to meet my folks. Yeah, how can there not be a fucking city map or a local map in this game? That's like a huge... So have you never played an RPG before? What's wrong with you? 
What's wrong with you? Oh my god, I wish I uh, saw Puerto Rican food. Oh my god. I miss my authentic Puerto Rican food so much. And my dad? And my daddy? Or my mama? What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh my god. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. <laughs> not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, Mom, but Dad. I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Am I going to lose my hair? Dad? Now, now, it's just with our family. The news isn't always great, but Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Stop, Mom. Hey, if I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle? <laughs> you know you're always welcome. I gotta give these people, my parents, 2% of all my Zander money. Me Is that why you have such a fancy house here? They still want Fucking so suckling them. off my they titty. Oh, it's my old room. I guess I was suckling off your titty for a long time, so. Oh, shit, put the gun away. I can't sleep in my car bed. Mom, why'd you get rid of my car bed? This is fucking bullshit. You're paying for that. The parents will give you a few awesome gifts later. What kind of awesome gifts? I doubt it. What do they have? They ain't got shit. They're not going on adventures. That actually would be pretty cool to have in the house, like this little fucking garden. Like a storybook. And that's pretty sweet, actually. I'm a little jelly of that, Mom. I figured it would be years until I saw you again, and here you are. I still can't believe it. Can you kill them? I don't know. I don't want to try. Stories make them seem so exotic, so... Alright, Chad, you want me to try to kill my parents? That's some fucked up shit. But let's do it. Let me save. Where's the tissue paper? You don't know where that is? I knew where it was, top shelf of the pantry. But it's not there anymore. No, I moved them to the bottom shelf ages ago. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I'm hey, I hate it when you fight! If you keep moving them all the time. You should pay attention. <laughs> of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. Sixteen times the childhood trauma sure mom everyone in my post everybody down i'm in charge you. now feel free to grab anything you need i still can't believe it constellation the stories make them seem so exotic so well romantic almost but how is it for real you liking it Playing it cool, huh? That's so you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. 
Taught my final class last Thursday. All right, Dad. Faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Mm, I like cake. I gave it my good old college try. <laughs> you see what I did there? Enough bad of Bad jokes. Anything you want to talk about? Really bad. To... I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. I'm not sure if I could keep sending money back on. You can actually stop sending money? And then what, do they disown you? <laughs> they fucking disown you. I've told you before, you don't have to. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lord knows we appreciate it. But we got by just fine before you landed that job with Argos Extractor. Now, I won't lie, this apartment... New Atlantis. I mean, there's no way we could afford to stay here without you. But we can find some place cheaper, no doubt. We'll manage. Not for a long while, no. A move like we're talking takes time. As soon as we get settled, we'd love to have you over, but it could take a long, long time. If you're sure, but uh, <laughs> please don't. I, I will not love you anymore, son, unless you, you keep paying me two percent. But it's not a cheap place to live. You I cannot see me it's good if stuff. you do not give me money. About, you may I've not see me for a book. very long time. I'm fine. Well, there's silence Ouch. of the sands. Touche. I still can't get over you being here, and it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask. Is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. Sarah, I know you didn't live. Is in anybody talking to you? But I want you to consider this your thought. home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. It's complicated. Maybe one day I'll get into it. But neither of us mind moving. I think we both have a bit of nomad in us. I think, though, New Atlantis is our forever home. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Thank you, Mom. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Her father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. <laughs> Flamenco. What? Fl who? Flamenco. W or we could do salsa. I told you, my left feet have left feet. The activity is to Football. This is mine. I'm taking it. I'm taking my toys. I'm gonna put him on my ship. Something beginner friendly. Like fit for a toddler. Okay, bye, mom, dad. Y'all owe me for the car bed. They got rid of my car bed, chat. It's unacceptable. And I'm not joking, I actually had a car bed when I was growing up. I wish I would have took a picture of it. What do you see, Leon? Chunks. At the drive-in, thank you! No! 
Yeah, my car bed was blue. It was white and blue. And it was like a super cheap ass model. What if I could find? Now there's no way. I mean, I mean, this was what twenty years ago, thirty years ago. It did have a wing. Yep. But it was more it was more white. It was white with just some blue lines. This is like a Lambo compared to it, but it's similar. It was like white. Twenty-five dollars for OJ AJ. Ooh, what's the OJ AJ? Chris. Well, first, I'm gonna grab some mayonnaise. What up? Thank you, man. I can't. I can't believe I remember I had a car, but. So what would this have been? Nineties or eighties? <laughs> Whoa, you could have a Batman car bed? Fucking sweet. See these car beds are wild. These they got LEDs and they're like BMWs and fucking Ferraris. This is Disney Pixar, so obviously this doesn't it, it didn't exist, but it's kind of like this. It was kind of like that, just white with blue and an orange strip. That'd be impossible to find some thirty years later. Thought I'd give it a shot, though. Okay. Biak Legacy. Biak Legacy? Two minutes ago, I almost missed you. Thank you. All right, what are, what are we doing? I'm fucking, I'm lost. I'm just kind of sucking it in, taking it all in, just going real slow. You know, and I think this is really the way to immerse yourself. So I guess let's just go find Man Vanguard. I bet she's under attack or something by the time we get there. Ask about more Moara, Moara in Sidonia. Let's go. Can I like fast travel or something? Can I just go to my ship? Yeah, I can go to my ship. Game has a really slow start, which I admit is a mistake. But a few mission, main mission stories in, it really picks up. Well, I'm looking forward to it picking up. Pretty sure I found a pick of your car bed description. Nah, -uh, Lugo. Let me see. Give me a link. Like the first Vanguard mission. Maybe I'll I'll join the Vanguard. Yeah, I want to be able to do my own takeoffs and landings. When you're married, your car is your bed.
Where's like a one button? Sidonia. This is a lot closer. It's it's definitely a lot closer. It's not exact. Wait a minute. This one is the closest. No, I didn't have that cool thing where you could like put shit in it. It's damn close. Damn close. A lot closer than all the other ones I was looking at. Good shot. I'd say that you got 80, 90 percent of the way there, but to find the exact one is impossible. Okay. Indy, in Indy. It was Indy. Not NASCAR. It wasn't NASCAR. And it was like swooping like a glass. happening fucking assholes fuck? I'm a known criminal why I had a bounty because I drank the lady's drink That bitch told on me? That's fucking stupid. I've been authorized to inform you that you are being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Wanted for drinking a lady's drink, which she offered me afterwards anyway. It's too bad Constellation can't afford something this impressive. Got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Shit. 
stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. Let me just pay my fines and get out of here. Not this time. So let me see what we're working with here. <laughs> Says here that you spent several years as a soldier. That means you understand how to respect the chain of command. Good. I also see that you mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. I drank somebody's drink on accident because it was on the table and nobody was near it. Really? Are you serious, Bethesda? <laughs> this is hilarious. I guess it would have been nice if I actually stole something and important. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Are we really playing this game? The pirates? Like the ones you tangled with on Vectera? Please stop pretending you have no idea what I'm talking about. On the books? They maintain combat-ready space-borne forces to deter aggression and ensure the safety of the United Colonies. What all that fancy claptrap means is that they're the ones who fight in the wars to keep our territory secure. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Not for me, for yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Because I drank somebody's alcoholic drink. I took one to sip of the lady's alcohol. drink. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your And now I have to go undercover in the Crimson Fleet and risk my life. <laughs> That was one sip too many, pal. <laughs> you crossed the line this time. You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in locker. You're just going to have to follow your instincts. You don't even know who I am. Whatever. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Just ridiculous. <laughs> now a hardened criminal. Can I, like, fucking fight my way out of this shit? 
Was there a moment that I saved before I drank? Did I visit my parents before or after I drank from that drink? Fuck. So, it's a Theop and Fetus. Fuck you! No. Oh. Uh, I didn't think that would work. Uh, I think, oh boy, Chad, I think I made a big, uh, big no-no, a big boo-boo. Uh, get ready to take on entire cruiser. Here we go. Wait, oh, Fuck, I only had one health pack. You have no chance. How are you hitting me? That's some fucking bullshit. Joe will give the game a two. That's what I'm gonna give it. And I'm gonna say it was the Joker rules fault. Because he pissed me off. So this is interesting. Why don't I save it here? And then load something a little further back. So I think I have the bounty. I think no matter what I'm at. It, did, did this all happen in y'all's playthrough too? Is this like scripted to happen no matter what? Never happened to you, eh? I, I, I stole? You mean I, I took a sip of a drink? Fucking bullshit.
I'm about to tell my mom what I did. <laughs> I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Hurry up! Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm your ticket out of the mess. Not this. So. <laughs> I also. Oh. Good. Now that we. My name is. Com you see, system. That convict. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Look, I'm going to be refuse. Of course you have a job. So, what do you say? You're going to... Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. I wonder if I am powerful enough, I could like take on this whole ship and then unrestrict access to all the right, docking area and go. then just basically start a war with these guys. It's interesting. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Don't be infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Hey, okay. hello. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. I mean, this would be a little <laughs> cooler if I had stolen a ship. That would have been awesome. The whole of a ship. I'd be like, wow, this is awesome. But I took a sip of a lady's drink who offered me a drink. But I did it before she offered me the drink. And some of the ice touched my uh, lips. So that was uh, unacceptable. Get in there, drink stealer. <laughs> All right. This drink is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande <laughs> should be waiting for you. You're a drink stealer. Nobody. You're the worst kind. <laughs> You're the worst kind of criminal. You're the worst kind of your criminal, you drink stealer. <laughs> Just sipping on everybody's drink at the bar. <laughs> Who do you think yes. you are? What? <laughs> you drink drinker. <laughs> if the drink don't hit, you must have quit. <laughs> That's great. That's good stuff. Excuse me. Fuck you are. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. SysDef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information. Evidence. Their weaknesses. Clutch nugs, thank just you. Knock on the front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going Got to be a good thing. Thank you for being here. 
I assume you have a plan. Are we there yet? I do. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Has Are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know when we're there. The Crimson through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for Open the can. Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Not sure I'm ready for this. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, remember. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim. Or Maybe a it's because I'm a soldier. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. Watch your back. They wouldn't do this for like a background where you're like, a, I don't know, a scientist or something. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I think it's tied to that, maybe. I don't know. You don't pay me a lot of money for this, right? So I can buy a badass ship. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, You'll be expected to getting better, Ambo. My opinion is getting better. Allow Although this is hilarious, the path and how this came about, of kind of fun. Out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing: money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. Beverage so theft. I'm warning you not to get lured into their I trip. got recruited by the. Think you can handle that. <laughs> I got recruited by the military <laughs> because of beverage theft. <laughs> oh, that's good. I got recruited by the military <laughs> to go undercover, <laughs> to go on a special operations undercover <laughs> mission <laughs> because of beverage theft. That's right. You were saying you have permission to speak. <laughs> Recruited by the military to go on a special undercover operation <laughs> because of beverage theft. That's right. I stole someone's drink. I'm a drink stealer. I drank that drink. If you would kindly <laughs> continue. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. To brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines.
All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason Doc ended up here because he had a 650 bounty. Was thanks to he tried killing this guy for an hour. Afraid she's the best lead we've got. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. You have your orders. United Colony System Defense at your service. You know what? I need to commandeer this coffee mug. It's an official undercover secret operation business. And this pen. And your notepad, sir. I have that right now. Hello. Carry on, soldier. Howdy. <laughs> This is the official drink requisition. <laughs> oh, coffee. I might need this when I'm on uh, when I'm on duty. When I'm fighting the Crimson Fleet. Talking port one. Captain Angry Joe. How do I go? How do I get out of here? Yeah, that's where I want to go. Cannot fast travel from this location. What the f Fuck! I'm about to shoot my fucking way out of here. Hello? When are you gonna let me off? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Uh, yes, Are we there yet? Let you know when we're there. Tendela, Sternal Jet, hello, Joe. Seen from yet? Oh. Uh, is there a reference that flew over my head? I've had a few bears. Storage. Yes. The blue dot is. Ask about Moria in Sidonia, and that is on the planet. I can't go to the blue dot, my friend. Not right now. I need my ship. Give me my fucking ship. You can always come back and chat later. Nobody here is born. I 
All right. Are you happy? Yes. You happy now? Hey. The elevator is where I just were. I'm gonna punch Hello? you in the face. Excuse me. Would you like that? Oh, do I do like the game? How do you feel about the game? Tell me about the game. Two minutes later, how do you feel about the game? Two minutes later, how do you feel about the game? Two minutes later, how do you feel about the game? You can leave when you... When you... I don't know. Alex Gandhi's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Ikandi, okay, on level two. He wants to clear me, huh? Well, I, I mean. Audi. Ikandi, huh? We're gonna find Ikandi. Was Ikandi, is this level two or is this level one? Pardon. Is Akandi the, the main guy? Akandi, that was his name. Candy. I thought it was clear that Lieutenant Toft should be your next stop. Lieutenant Toft. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, it's going to be difficult. You didn't make that clear. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal, which use your instincts. All right, Toth. Gotta find Toth. Good luck. Are you Toth? <coughs> Are you Toth? Hello. Yes. Off. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. It's not you, it's the Crimson Fleet. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Yes, of course. I'm a I'm soldier. Sorry if I brought up any painful memories. That's what I thought. Oh, uh, one last thing. 
A bit of good news, actually. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Yeah. Open up to me, girl. Maybe. Tell me. No. Talk to no, me. No, it, it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time. Okay? Okay. Are you, are you a romance officer? We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, Strawberry. you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Why is the main character silent? I know, right? It just, it's, um... I wish, I wish you wasn't silent. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, bye. Yes. What? Hey. Don't hate me. I'm not your friend. I don't suppose I have time for a nap. Before we leave, hmm? Uh, are you coming on to me? We haven't even started a romance arc. Did she say we have time for a nap or I have time for a nap? And then chuckle. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Until later. Well, there's a bed right here. Look who decided to rejoin the world. Sir, I went to sleep for an hour. Bitch. Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? I took a nap for an hour. You giving me shit, girl? You know what I went through? For stealing the drink? Hanzo, Asashi, <laughs> Joe, brother, you gonna stream Mortal Kombat 1 when it drops? It looks sick. Are you hype? Oh, I'm beyond hype. I'm really looking forward to it. Get over here. Hanzo, man, I can't wait. I think it's gonna be great. I think it's already a banger. Alright, well, let's get, let's get this party started. on this fucking rock. Is it? I want to fly there. I want to do, do that, you know, like in, like in No Man's Sky where the there's fucking lines and there's a sense of speed and shit. 
It's like everything is a fucking cut scene. Everything's a loading screen. And we're done. Welcome to Mars. Fuck off. Be pretty cool, Hobo. Oh, we're here. We should definitely stop having supplies at the exchange. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing a helmet. Fucking pack. Jesus Christ. Sidonia. Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. You don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those. It's simple to keep to yourself. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pull one out to the blackest sea. I'm not about to leave a brave soldier behind. Let's find him. You in the service? I know the feeling, but... Uh... He just gets so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? What? Oh, look at this. That's different. <coughs> skip to the part where you admit you're lying. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You 
call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrived from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Agreed on a discount, right? Well, let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time I was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. That's all I needed from this. Mm. I hope it's worth the noise. Don't steal drinks, drink stealer. Let that be a lesson to you. I could have fast traveled to my ship, but I guess in this game you just fast travel everywhere. Just fast travel, fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. It's like loading field. Loading field, you know what I mean? So, where to next? Guess we're going to Venus. I'm your fire, heart desire. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh. Okay, if we go this way, uh, well, can I fly there? Does going into space do anything? What, what perp, what point is there to power to my engines? Maximum power to engines. I don't feel like I'm moving. I uh, will uh, chat. I'll be back when we reach v uh, Venus. It's only 1114.2 light years. I'll be right back in about a thousand light years. I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Can you can you wait? Can you guys in chat Guys, can you wait here and chat for a thousand light years? And then we'll we'll resume. Yes. <laughs> wow. Y'all are y'all are patient as fuck, man. That's that's impressive. And somehow I believe you. Somehow I believe you. Venus, set course, travel, X, X, A, X, A, A, X, X, A, A. Oh my god. Talk to Sarah. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zenith. 
You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. I doubt they know where we are. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. I'm opening fire. Those zealots are a threat to the whole system. Easy. Three ships to our one. We cut down to minimal ship power and creep forward. They might not notice us getting closer. But yes, worst case, we fight our way through. Minimize system ship power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines. And stay as far away from the enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so you activate it. Huh. Well... They should have some visual indicator, like a stealth mode activated or something, or running quiet. So does this make Star Citizen still as viable as a simulation for Starfield's Bethesda design choices? Star Citizen isn't even out yet, bro. So yes, it is viable because you're not playing Star Citizen for at least a few more years. <laughs> but the real answer is no. I mean, Star Citizen is going to be way more, it's supposed to be way more elaborate. If it ever comes out. my engines. I don't know how to... Okay. Fuck it. Let's fight. What do you think, chat? Let's go. Shields up. Full power to lasers. Are you prepared to face judgment? Uh, we got fucked up pretty bad. It's 3v1. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I 
They're level 14s? That was a level 5. I don't think that's gonna go too well. You know, fuck. There's just something missing. I just think that you're a little less connected to the world when you're constantly doing loading screens instead of traversing the topography with a horse or, you know, in a fantasy setting. I think there's something about the, the you know, constant loading screens that's disconnecting me from almost everything. Where's Venus again? There it is. Ten out of ten. I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm not really enjoying the characters enough for that. Maybe it'll get better. But this one is, you know, actually mag. Thank you for gifting another sub, my man. We'll go. To, we'll go engine power two. Then we'll go engine power two, and then we'll also hit the boost. Keep up this speed. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. I, I'm pretty. I'm liking it a lot more than <laughs> than Fallout 76. I'll tell you that it's not Starfield 76. No. They still haven't noticed me. So I guess two engine pips are okay. to the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Let me go to my fucking let me hit let me hit five buttons to go to this menu to set course and hit travel. Couldn't you have let that be like a one or two button thing? Earth? That's fucking Earth? No fucking way. I guess it's Africa right there. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I guess it is in the Fallout universe. 
doubt that there's just nothing around Earth. There's nothing that sucks. There's just a bunch of space junk. Can I slam into this? I guess I can. Uh, where's my hole value? Oh, there it is. Under my shields. What is GRV? I guess we needed to go to Luna, not to Earth. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Fuck. I'm starting to get tired of this game. But I don't want to get... I, like, I want to play all night long. You know what I mean? Luna. Okay. There it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Let's see if Vanguard is in that star yard. Forget about finding the artifact I want to walk on the moon. <laughs> Heaven Earth anyway. Why did we leave it? Uh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but... Not much. Well, if you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. I could just land anywhere, I guess. There's nothing on it. Okay. Why was the moon so close to the <laughs> I'm on the moon! Oh, 
fuck? Who's spoiling my good time? You know, this is my planet. It's Moin. Ireland. It's Moin. It's Moin. Bro, can you find, like, the American flag? Be fucking sweet. Unknown. 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 Where was that ship? Fuck, I lost track. Oh, there Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are Let's we go there fuck yet? Him up. Are we there yet? You know when we're there. You're in your ship and you open the scanner, you can look at whatever planet you want to go to and press. E. A. Sports. It's in the E. Kill everyone. Steal their ship. You got it, chat. Here we go. Save. Got to get some fun happening here. Quick save. This is uh, Commander Angry Joe. I've reached the target. Permission to engage. I'm not seeing anybody outside of the ship. Permission granted. Roger that. Going in. Let's go hot. Sarah, move. Down, down, everybody down! Boarding ship now. or something where's everybody what is this what is going on who flew the ship here Where's the bridge? Make yourself at home, stranger. I'm okay with visitors on my ship, so long as you follow the rules.
You don't have to boss with me. Out there, hell no. But in here, I am the boss, the skipper, the head honcho, the top dog, and the big kahuna. Now you can address me with your sobriquet of choice, but it will confer the proper amount of respect as captain of this ship. The ship is now mine. You are not authorized to pilot the ship. I stole it! Fair and square! Is this not how you steal ships? Seriously, how, how do you steal it? You're joking. I did it the wrong way? Well, what do you mean? You might need a skill to pilot this class? Bro, this ship is smaller than mine. The dock was it? That's so stupid. I can only see ships in space. That's fucking dumb. <sighs> this is like the most restrictive game. I'm I'm starting to get real annoyed now. You really getting me annoyed. I need a higher pilot level. I don't I don't um, Maybe. Why doesn't the interface tell me that right now? All right, Captain. Don't make me pull out my pistol. That was a pretty good shot once upon a time. Whatever. This was dumb. I don't want to be on the moon. Let us leave this place and never return. <laughs> uh, where's the docking prompt? Isn't that on the screen the whole time? <laughs> Board the ship, let's go. How come when I took a spacesuit off, 
his space suit didn't come off. Immersion ruined. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. So rip their clothes off. Less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Wow. Thanks, OJ. I will. Hey, can, can I ask you a quick Head to my crew position. Go? Missy Oka's huge Mass Effect fan, and I enjoyed the Fallout games. Was really looking forward to this game, but it seems a uh, jack of all trades so far. A little of everything. Uh, but doesn't excel at this point at anything. Maybe it gets better, but thanks for your hard work, sir. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. I, I really hate to say it, and I know a lot of people are going to jump down my throat or whatever. But I, 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 uh, it hasn't grabbed me. Are we there yet? I wanted, Are we there yet? I wanted it to Are grab me by the balls. Are we there yet? You know when we're there. Yeah, the UI doesn't mention you can travel without having to open the map every time through the scanner. It isn't. It isn't. It's not grabbing me by the balls, and I wanted it to just grab me by the balls. Gunfire. I, I don't know who's the good guys. I don't know who's the bad guys. Are you guys the bad guys? Wait, these are spacers and these are flick tips? I don't fucking know. I just started fighting. So. Fuck off. Dude, IGN got a new asshole fucking rip for going seven on this, but that's, I don't know, man. Doesn't really seem outside of the realm of possibility if things can go on this way. Did I kill the right people? Sarah, you got it. Try a different weapon.
I'm gonna eat my sandwiches. I'm gonna eat my fucking carrots. I'm gonna eat my fucking celery. I'm gonna eat my fucking snacks. My cheese. And my fucking chunk. Apple chunk. And my, and my fucking chunks. And my fucking cereal. I'm gonna drink some beer. Now I'm drunk. Oh, bro! Fuck off me. What are you doing, Sarah? Shit. Let a man eat. I know, right? No man, I'm not. I should have. I should have stocked up on some health. Let's see what other weapons I've got. Let's try this sight star. Is it really worth $140? It seems like you would never eat these. You'd always sell them. Because three health? I mean, what good is that? Oh, fuck. A level fucking 12. Big boy gun. Let's go. Fucked. Sarah, fall back. eliminated
need some fucking health. There's too many of them left. What is the goal here? Find any clues about more... Moara. Moara. Say it's 16 times the detail. No. <laughs> I kind of was expecting 16 times the detail, though. And this maybe two times the detail of the previous Bethesda game. One of the games of this year. It is one of the games of this year. It is a game of this year. I am now four or five hours in, and I'm I'm saying um, not really all that into the characters that I've met so far. Not really interested in any of the storyline set up so far. I'm a little bit disappointed with the tro uh, the mecha the exploration mechanics. And the interface, and the map, and the combat, and the dialogue. Uh-oh. I think a lot of people are going to be mad at me. I mean, it, it could get better. It could get better. Um... I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. It's not a bad game. This is far better than Fallout 76. Uh, so, so good, good, good that it's better than Fallout 76. Yeah. It, it's gonna it's gonna get real good it's, it's gonna it's, it's gonna it's gonna get good it's gonna get better aha meta pack oh, they spawn in the bad guys Boom, orange. Milk. I'm in the mess hall. It did say crack, and I think it's a type of uh, thing. It's a, it's a, oh, look at this burrito. That wasn't a burrito, it was like a, I don't know what, it was like a. Battle meal. Gotta get that sandwich. Full food spiced worms. Toast. Toast. What do you think of the game so far, okay. uh, from what we've been playing together? Not many bugs. Yeah, it runs pretty smooth. Actually, for a Bethesda game, it's running pretty smoothly. Slow start, mid, boring. 
Oh fuck! You know what? You know what I found is the most effective so far is because the AI guy can't really handle. I guess it can't handle if they just power through me by shooting me a lot. But the axe was doing this real nice. All right, here we go. Let's go, Lord Two Shanks. God damn. Did I just delete him from the universe? Oh, there he is. That motherfucker was in here eating. <laughs> Udon. Whoa, a cooking station? Cheese and lime? Let's combine cheese with lime. You cannot use this while in combat. Oh man. I don't know their cooking stations. So this what do we one cook? is, you know, actually magnetic. Ah, <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> hey! Missy. Missy Ocus. That's gonna be all the the Xbox fans shooting me <laughs> from my opinions. <laughs> that was Dan Stapleton with IGN. <laughs> that was Dan Stapleton when he released his review. Ah, Montiude, 20 subs, my man. 20 subs, thank you so much. Very generous. Bitches. Fox and Wolf Dan, thank you. Damn, they shot Dan up, didn't they? Did a drive-by on that fool. Take him down. Damn, she got she just got murked. She got shot in the head. Mike! Mike with the five gifted subs. It's Duperman. Thanks for the late night stream. Let's go. Why does it take forever to wind up? Oh shit! He's gonna blow up. Let's go! Thank you very much. Running away, eh? It's the Ocus. Again. Fire woman. Fire. 
God damn it, woman. Show me what you've got. Sarah? Sturdy Star ro Roamer Space Suit. That looks dumb. Energy 69. All right. Physical, way down. Negative 15 incoming melee damage. I don't really get meleeed a lot. Bro, you were you were standing there for a fucking hour while I was napping. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Why don't their clothes get ripped off? Is this a bug? That's part of that's part of looting. That's part of feeling like you're jacking shit up. Give me your shit, all of it. Nah. Nah. Give it to me. Nah. Yeah, music's good. I'd say the music's doing some heavy lifting for sure. Body bags. Take that. <laughs> Let's go check out the other side. Eh? <laughs> God damn, boy, how did that happen? How did that happen? Jesus Christ. The horror. What has been in here? Oh my God. There intergalactic demons no
Booty hill. Hit him in the booty hole. So that's for the next level. That went hard. I'm confused, it is. Good. We got one digit pick left. Okay, maybe this 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 one right here. Okay, and then this one we know is for the last bit. So that one's already taken. So this we spin, uh oh. Oh, you know what? We got this, that one right there. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Yay, boy. But oh, wait a minute. Where is this one gonna fit? Oh, shit. Soy milk. Soy milk. Milk. All my elk drink soy milk. Fuck! Hey. It's Yokus. I got no more undoes.
getting tired of asking if I like it, man. Sorry, but I'm just getting tired of it. Watch my line of fire, god damn it! Fuck. It looks like we only got one left. Jump out. <laughs> crazy man. You're a crazy man. <laughs> Goodbye. Defeated by ledge. Fuck this asshole go. I'm encumbered. God damn it.
Where's Vanguard, Moira? Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I fetched up my ship, and I'm heading to them too. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Good job, Sarah. Ooh, something epic laser rifle? What? Did I get something exciting for once? What is this? Staggering Orion. Plus 30% damage against aliens. Small chance to stagger enemies. Epic loot! Nice. Noise! Noise! More epic loot! Noise! Well, the helmet sucks. Got anti ballistic negative 15 incoming physical damage from weighing weapons. Resources weigh 25% less? What? Oh, resources. You mean the light stuff? The light stuff weighs 25% less. Still, cool. We did a whole circle. Okay. <laughs> like a dungeon, I guess. Alright. I think I was able to press E and go there. Didn't somebody tell me that? I guess they were wrong. That's just back up out of the captain's chair. Go. 
Goraz. One gifted sub, 1979. Thank you very much, buddy. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Where the fuck are you? Are we just like literally doing a little circle? Auto fuck, it's like automatically. Like, they never told me how to target a specific subsystem. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll throw in some, uh, Parks. I'm holding or pressing X. That's not, that's not doing anything. Why wouldn't the game be like, you have to go and do this and do put the target? Ship targeting functionality. Oh, it's wild that the game doesn't right there put like a, uh, you know, guide you to this particular section. In that moment. <laughs> oh, fuck. Touch him, he's going to die. I'm making the money! I'm taking the money! Yeah, 
guess that. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Okay. The ship is small. They'll have no way to counter Lord Two Shanks. I see one enemy. I see two. Tiny trap stomp. Thank you for playing so I don't have to play Fallout in space. But I can appreciate the it's art. So there you go. <laughs> this is Fallout 4 in space. For sure. Faux show. More. 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 I want the actual more. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? I don't like any of these dialogue options. Ecliptic mercs, they'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Deathstorm35, thank you for subscribing. I hear that. If the universe was a nice place, all soldiers could retire. And no home would be missing a seat at the table. Who are you two, anyway? Constellation. Seriously? Why is she talking like a robot? the respect for space comment was coming from. Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too about a strange object you found on patrol. Just my my so my girlfriend you know is super creepy. I tried to hug him possessed. Sibiria, and the guy thought I was space possessed. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd yeah. be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament. You don't think that maybe but there's a could have done something a little more dynamic with the whole standing in one spot, staring at the camera and, and, and talking. 
I mean, that's been a criticism of their games from as long as I can remember. And they say, ah, don't worry about it. We actually changed that for Skyrim. Look, there's different angles when you talk to people and stuff. I guess they gave up on that. And then just said, nah, fuck it. Even if the camera is a little janky. Like, what is happening with the camera here? I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Okay. <laughs> Take the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. That one rock is spinning. Cause space. Focus lens. Increases damage. I need some tantalum and some titanium. Tantalum and titanium, the T's. I need the T elements. Ship scanner to uh, ship scanner, then R to travel. Yeah, no, I think I've seen that one, that before. You you give me not information incomplete, but straight up wrong. It's weird because I saw the interface pop up once, but then never pop up again for R. What does R stand for? So like, let's see if we're supposed to go over here. Go ship scanner, Alpha Centauri, R. Exit scanner. Ship scanner, then R to travel. R. E is to exit the thing of a jiggy. Eight feet, bruh. I'm making the money. I'm taking the money. Seems to only happen in specific instances. Do I have to highlight it with my mouse?
goes, it's E and then R. Never tells you that either. I'm 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 actually getting kind of frustrated right now. I think I should stop playing. Cause I'm just getting in a bad mood. I'm just in a bad mood, man. Welcome to UC Space. How'd I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Gain didn't bother telling me neither. Cleared to land at uh, New Atlantis. Return to the lodge. Well, let's at least let return to the lodge, I suppose. But this is just way. Too many loading screens. Load. Five minute gameplay. Load. Two minute gameplay. Load. Hey, Thirty minute uh, gameplay. Can we load. Skip the local chunks this time. It never agrees with my stomach. Woman, I never took you to chunks. Your and my mom and dad are here. Look at this. I assumed it was all right to let your parents what? in here. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't stay for long. What's up? Just, what are you doing, I Dad? You don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I have some vids of when I was, um, 12 in my Constellation Halloween outfit. <laughs> so embarrassing. But I found space so fascinating that there is still so much we don't know. I guess I still find it that way. You're welcome anytime. And I mean I hope you don't mind, anytime. but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I am. Do you know I dreamt of... Talking with you. All right, mom, go, 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 go. Just leave, please. I'm busy. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available it to you. Hits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes, like it's waiting for the others. That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. What are you doing? Are you taking a bathroom break? What? Welcome to Constellation. Stop talking to me via the uh, walkie-talkie. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you... Frankly, Sarah, I'd rather be with Noel. Can, can Noel come with me? I mean, I guess there's no other choice right now. I don't really have anybody else. There's this second female romance option. I've already forgotten her name, but we don't meet her till later on. All right. We've got a few I've already talked to the dad about. multiple times. He doesn't give First, me a gun right now. There's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. Maybe I'll finish my mom's dialogue and options, and then please. maybe he'll do it. Noel. Have we heard anything from the A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Goodbye.
Just had to see. Oh, this place is every. Do you know I? I don't know, but I'll let your father. I was playing poker with the dean of engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. 45 caliber Sir Livingston's pistol. Next person I shoot, I'll think of you. Oh, that's a terrible joke <laughs> you are joking right of course you are well we'll let you get back to it but uh, miss noel said we could look around a little first i'm planning a grocery miss run noel. later okay mom can you give me the fruit roll-ups that i like please thank you what's it called Sir Livingston's pistol. Holy shit, it's a 1911. Cool. Wow. 31 is powerful. Would it be alright if I brought like. cookies next time? Actually, Mr. Cookies. I cannot wait to meet him. I make a mean snickerdoodles. Oh, nice. I um, love snickerdoodle. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. All that junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. Okay, Dad. You know, you don't have to pass notes to me. You can just talk to me. Okay. I'm right here, Dad. Son of a bitch. <sighs> All right, he wants me to stop by the house. The money you sent home? Well, it means a lot to both of us. Of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. Are they like a... I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos to occupy me. So don't worry about me. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother's been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. <laughs> Not that I mind. Take care, kiddo. Uh, Argos Extractors uh, is packing up operations on Vectera, but there's no word about Barrett. I need to go there and find out. Sarah has asked me to go to I, the star station that Constellation owns in orbit of Jemison. I need to meet with Vladimir Saul about f finding more artifacts. I don't really care about finding artifacts. I wish I did. Sarah Morgan wants me to join an expedition headed up by Sam Cole, another Constellation member. We'll be going to Free Star Collective Space. Burden of Proof. I've been tasked with, uh, right, to, to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet.
Okay, um... Let's do one more. One single more. Which, which one sounded most interesting to you guys? Argos Extractors is packing up operations on Vectera, but there's no word about Barrett. I need to go there and find out what happened. Even though I have, I have no relation to Barrett. Don't care. Met him once. He gave me a ship, and then that was it. Or, into the unknown, Sarah asked me to go to the Eye, the star station that Constellation owns. I need to meet with Vladimir about finding more artifacts. Star station might be a good one. That's talking. Easy. Empty nest. Sarah Mori wants me to join an expedition headed up by Sam. We'll be going to Free Star Collector. Maybe that, that's good. Sam is the space cowboys, okay. Alright, let's just go meet with Vladimir. Vlad. I saw Alana talking about this on her live stream. She's asking some other guy if he's met Vlad yet. And he's like, Vlad, I don't know who Vlad is. So he must have not gotten to this point. So we'll go talk to Vlad. Hey, where, where do I change my name? I thought uh, I should have been able to change my name by now, right? So, hold on. When can you change your name? Simply head to any enhance shop and pay 500 credits. What is enhance shop? Where 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 is that? There's one in New Atlantis. Well, I'm in New Atlantis, so that's good. Let me just ch check, uh, quickly check the map. I'll be able to easily find the enhanced shop. Okay, I think it's um, I think it's right about here. Right, right about here. Maybe, maybe like right there. Or it could actually be maybe this dot right here. Or is it this dot? I forget. Hmm. Excellent, excellent map systems. Um, I, d I definitely know where I'm going. So, let's go. Medical. I mean, maybe I'll go to the medical thing. They'll change my face, and then then they'll change my 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 name. New Atlantis information. Uh, which which one is it? Power of charm, baby. Dasashmo, thank you. You enjoying the game so far? Um, meh, meh. Oh, I have to have this on the entire time, somebody said. Okay. 
Well, there's my ship. This doesn't help me any. To get to the shop to change my uh, face. Um. I'm just gonna assume that this is it. I'm doing great, actually. Thanks for asking. Let me just get in here. Through the through the entrance to this place. I am uh, over encumbered. I'm not feeling that bad. We have an appointment. We're seeing the doctor. That's it. Welcome to our Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Take care of yourself. That's not it. Commercial district, How okay. Long do we have to wait? Well, here you've got embassy. Let's see if I can find another sign. Since the game, I think I have no idea. Then I realize my tank sprung a leak. I'm stuck. And the only place Let's go off in a random direction. So let's go ahead and open the map. guess it's this district um, but because I haven't gone there yet now can you tell me which way do you think I'm facing chat you know there's an arrow pointing up and there's an arrow pointing down and then there's a cone looking that way <laughs> it's like well clearly it's the cone it's supposed to be the cone but like you're gonna confuse people you, you have to you have to go lowest common denominator you can't like this is basic this is basic interface stuff Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so encumbered, man. I should have put my stuff on the fucking ship. <laughs> Try to find the tram. See it. Well, thank you, Lo Yolo United. That's nice of you to say. Well, I guess I could give it to Sarah. Where's, where's she at? To haul whatever you need. Damn, I 
got a lot. You know what? I'll just take it back. That's a lot of money. Talk to you later. We're almost here. Anyway. So what's the place that, uh, you, what's it called again? You guys use the specific Enhanced. Okay, there's Guild Bank. Gilly, Gully. Distribution Center. Outland. give up. I hate this. I'm just annoyed right now. Ah, fuck. Fuck this place. Welcome to Infinity LCD. Them even Bradbury. I need people like you. Even your friend. Past the infinity lobby. I should never need to Google like that. Past the initiative. Past the lobby. Well, this is the coffee place. Hello there. There's no, there's no fucking sign. There's no f fucking sign. There's no f fucking sign. Not only is there no fucking map that's worth a fucking damn, but there's no fucking sign to enhance. What the fuck? Oh, this this chicken fucking scratch is an ants. I'm fucking supposed to read that. How can I help you enhance yourself today? Hi, welcome to Enhance. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I'm sure my staff and I can accommodate your every need. 
If you're here to try something new, or on a whim, or to replicate a look you've seen and loved elsewhere, or just want to love your reflection in the mirror a little bit more, we've got you covered. All our services and records are private and confidential, so no need to worry. Okay, what can we do for you today? Now, in order to hear, now I gotta bring the robot with me Come so he can say Joe. Time. Instead of this chick. How do I bring the robot guy? Do I have to go all the way back to the lodge to get the robot guy to follow me instead? I just wanna hear the robot say Joe and then I'm going to fuck a bitch. <laughs> I could fast travel to the lodge, maybe. Let's see. There it is. Wait. You are carrying too much and cannot fast travel. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Uh, is there a store here? Is like Infinity a store? All visitors are fine. Unfortunately, I'm not authorized to make appointments myself. I need a fucking store. Maybe the coffee place will buy some shit. You can tell they put a lot of care into their. Hello friendships. and welcome to Terror Brew. How may I serve you? Certainly. Please take your time. Oh, thank God. I can sell. Oh no, I can only sell drinks to the fucking coffee shop. Fuck. I hate my life. You've got something for me? Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Bitches. Bye for now. Hey, thank you to push level, ready to die, die, BCBT, or BCB Theta. Thank y'all guys, all for subscribing and continuing BCB Theta two months. The other two gentlemen are brand new to the angry army, and I'm so fucking tired, I'm about to pass out on stream, but God damn it, I want to hear this robot say my name. Say my name. We're going to fast travel now to the lodge. And then we're going to change. We're going to get rid of this chick. And then we're going to get the robot. And then he's going to talk to me and stuff. 
But I don't know when he says Joe. It's not like he's gonna say Joe every five seconds. So it's like I gotta play an hour with him. That we're here. To get him to say we Joe. Could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. I hope you are satisfied. Maybe he didn't say Joe no more because he only said Joe captain. the first time you ever met now me. That you are a member of so you call me Captain. I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space. It might be beneficial. Captain Vargas, I will proceed to my assigned post. Damn, he even used my last. I didn't even think he'd use my last name. But I know he can say Joe too. So when does he refer to you by your first name? So he can probably do both. He said it. Manage your crew, review, and change their assignments between your ships. Change his assignment to the frontier. Good day, Captain. I will accompany you as long as you require. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. Captain Vargas, greetings. <laughs> So I guess, what would I have to do? Just put my name Joe in order for him to say Joe. Captain Joe. Because I want Captain Joe, not really Captain Vargas, but okay. If you feel it is necessary. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? He can also say Joey. I've looked up all the I've looked up all the names he can say. There's like a thousand of them. It's crazy. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm out of steam. I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna go to sleep. And uh, so. I got annoyed with the game here towards the end. It started to piss me off. Um, but I think I'm just in a bad mood right now. But the game put me in a bad mood. So. I'm a little disappointed. I don't think it's a bad game. But I guess my expectations were slightly different. I wasn't following all of the, um, you know, marketing material and promotionals. I just saw a few videos that was like, unprecedented exploration. I think I remember that specifically. I wish I could remember what, where I saw it. Unprecedented exploration. Well, this is too restrictive for unprecedented exploration. At least by my definition. I don't know. Anyways. So many loading screens. When I'm in space, I don't feel like I'm in space. I actually feel like I'm in a bubble turret of, uh, I don't know, a flying fortress, a B-17 flying fortress. Because uh, I'm not really going anywhere. It doesn't feel like I'm moving because like, like you can't get closer to the planets can't land and take off i don't know why i expected landing and taking off i guess that was because i just assumed that you can do that because of unprecedented exploration but i guess that's no man's sky has that technology and bethesda doesn't that's fine um So far, the characters, I haven't really connected with any of them. I find them rather pedestrian and kind of boring. Um, the gunplay is all right, but the, the close combat where I was wanting to play, you know, because how you approach things differently, you want to either go with ranged weapons or close combat weapons. Well, I'm going close combat weapons, and it just, it's just a little janky takes a guy forever to swing and sometimes you'll you'll input a command to swing and it'll take him like three seconds to do it it just it's slow um, 
it's clunky and a lot of the systems are like not working like my dad will show up and then and then somebody will say and while my dad is here my dad will be like somebody will be like your dad left a note here for you it's <laughs> I got, I got, um, I got arrested and then roped into doing a secret undercover operation to infiltrate the most dangerous pirates in the galaxy. And what was my crime? Um, I'm a, uh, I, don't, <laughs> I, I took a sip from somebody's drink. I'm a drink stealer. And they put a bounty on my head, and so they started shooting me, and it was like blew up my ship because I drank somebody's drink at the bar on accident. <laughs> For the crime of drinking a drink. <laughs> I got recruited in an intergalactic uh, special operation. <laughs> My guy goes, I know you can handle it. You're not here for no reason. <laughs> I can use my skills of sipping other people's drinks at bars in an intergalactic. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. <laughs> they blew me out of the sky. <laughs> I, got, I got recruited by the military to go on a special operations undercover mission because of beverage theft. That's right. I stole someone's drink. I'm a drink stealer. I drank that drink and I'm proud of it. Ain't nobody gonna tell me <laughs> what drinks I can drink. I can't drink. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man, pajama. Hey, what you in here for? Huh? <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, man. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Saturday, we want, uh, there's a, like a Comic Con thing we're going to, and then. Me and Jay will uh, stream some tabletop bolt action. We hope you'll join us. We're doing a bunch of tanks. No infantry, just like four or five tanks on each side. He'll probably roll with some Tiger tanks, Pouncers. I'll probably bring some American tanks, maybe some Russian tanks. So, anyways, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye, everybody.